Good morning, everyone. So today we are headed on our baby moon. It is 7.30 in the morning and Reed is down the shore with my parents. And so we are off for the whole week. It will be the longest time we've ever left Reed. So a couple days ago, I sat out in the sun. I've been sitting out in the sun with my mom down the shore and stuff and I burnt myself. So I tried to put on makeup today and now it's like peeling. Like that spot's so burnt. So anyway, it was a little crazy, but we're heading to Cape Cod, Massachusetts, um, which is going to be super fun because we, Rick and I have both been there before, but this time it's going to be nice because I think we're going to spend more time on the beach and just relaxing. And like I said, we've never been away from Reed quite this long, so it's going to be an adjustment. I literally cried when I got in the car yesterday and left him because we left him last night with my parents. Um, we put him to bed and then came home to leave early this morning. And it's so sad because he's so little. Like I know he understands we're leaving and we talked about it, but he doesn't understand like how long, even though we told him, he doesn't have those concepts of time. So it was kind of sad, but yeah, I know he's in great hands. Um, my mom and I are together so much and he spends so much time with them that it's really an easy transition for him. So he will have fun down the shore, going to the beach and doing things with them. And we will get away, so it's a good sad. It's just, I miss him already. But um, I know I get to take this little guy with me. And he's been moving a lot. He is so sweet. And so hopefully on this trip we will finally name him because he remains nameless. And I know we have time, uh, but it's just hard coming up with a name that like goes with Reed and that we both like. Drop a comment of what you think we should name this baby. Do you have name ideas for us? Because we are in the middle of trying to figure out names and we'd love to have your suggestions on names for him. Got our bags packed here and ready to go. And this just cracks me up because first of all, these are Rick's shoes that he really only wears like on our honeymoon or when I really want him to. They're not like his true style, but I just say that I think they're so cute on him. So he's bringing those. And then also we have our mask because obviously we're in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic and so this mask actually my mom has been making masks she's really good at them this is one this is Rick's um, but she makes them so nice and so she's given us a bunch and we're gonna take them with us so we are set to go so here we are Rick has a what is the heck is that sausage egg and cheese croissant a sausage, I thought you were getting a sizzly thing. well yeah I mean technically I think it is a sizzly but um <laughs> I meant to get a waffle one, and they didn't have it. So maybe they stopped doing them since Aww. all this corona stuff went down. Is it good? It's good, though. It's good. And I chose McDonald's because I just really wanted it. So I got a bacon, egg, and cheese. Got some hash browns. Got some coffee. And it looks like Rick has some chocolate milk. Oh, yeah. We got our directions up there ready to go so we don't have to mess with that. And we're off. So it has been an adventure so far. We are actually at a McDonald's because we were trying to go to the bathroom and because of the whole Corona thing, all the fast food, like inside parts of the fast food are closed. So it's like, how are you supposed to go to the bathroom? This is such an adventure, but we've been doing good so far. We've been driving for four hours and 10 minutes. We have another hour and a half to go to get there. And it's been an easy drive. Rick's been driving the whole time. And we are excited to get there to check out the beach and the place and everything. It's right on the beach, so we can walk right across and go if we want. But Rick got in the McDonald's. Here he is. Did you go? I go. I went. He went. <laughs> he went. Yay. I was telling them the drama of the whole thing. Oh, okay. But anyway. <laughs> there was, there was tons of drama. We're having so much fun trying to figure out the whole COVID thing on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna go in and go to the bathroom.
All right, guys, we made it. We are here, and the water is right there, like I showed you. Super nice beach and all down there. We'll walk down so you can see it. Here is the actual place, but we gotta go inside and show you all that. And Rick is ready to go. Are you ready? You're looking good. Thanks, babe. So are you. You're company number 81 today. Well, it's better than being number 80. Rick's not too sure about his shorts. They're an Amazon special. They were special for sure. All right, let's go walk. All right. We are here. Rick, you tired? I'm tired. I carried all that stuff up. Uh, I think we overpacked, like majorly. But this room is so charming. And look, they have like little beach towels and it looks so cozy and like super clean. I love the colors. Nice and white, which is nice. It's a pretty small room, but we wanted to go with something that was like not a big deal because we wanted to save money. And this room is like so much more when the uh, summer hits, which is actually next week. So we got a really good deal and it's cute. Cute. It is the view of the back of the place, I guess. <laughs> but we, didn't nice. spend, we didn't pay extra for the view of the ocean. No, we actually got a super good deal, which I feel good about. Cause we're not gonna be in this room that much anyway. <laughs> we're gonna be doing other things. Where are we, Rick? We are, what was this called? Seafood Sands or something? <laughs> this is our first time since March. Mid to end March. I know, it's crazy. April, May, so three months. We have not eaten out at a restaurant. And you're gonna laugh when you see this. So we could have gone to fancier places. We're gonna like, we just got done traveling all day, of course. So there are fancier places that have like really expensive um, dinners and stuff near where we're staying on the water. This is kind of just not on the water, but you're gonna laugh because it's literally picnic tables outside uh -huh. in like All spaced six feet out. Apart. Yeah, it's just the weirdest thing. Actually, probably more than six <laughs> feet apart. And right now it's 74 degrees, but with the breeze, maybe not here because we're not on the water. But it feels more like in the 60s, so it's really nice. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, I think it is. It is so nice. <laughs> Rick likes it way cooler. I, I like do it. like it way cooler. Yeah. I didn't bring a jacket. Oh yeah, I did. So I'm hoping it's not too cold, but I think it's gonna be really nice. So, we're gonna go get some chowder of some sort or some something. And I guess we have to wear our masks all the way up to the table. <laughs> the whole thing is ridiculous. <laughs> we should wear our masks um, the whole time and just kind of like... Yeah. Oh yeah, that's okay. You can't even see your face, you realize that? Oh. That was really great. <laughs> Who knows if they could even see what I was doing. <laughs> Probably not. Um, so the inn made little biscotti. I'm really excited. I might take them back to my mom because they're like snickerdoodle, which is her favorite. But they're so cute and individually packaged. So everyone is thinking and trying to do things really nicely. We got here early, it's four o'clock. We wanted an early dinner because we wanted to be able to eat outside. So here we are. I try to show you over there, picnic tables, you can say. It's really pretty, it's just really funny. This says, masks, facial coverings, must be worn inside the restaurant. Cool. All right, here we are. Reed is trying the lobster best. Reed. I mean. <laughs> Hi, Reed. <laughs> is it good? Mm hmm Good. It is. So, it was quite an experience. We ordered at like a takeout counter, and <laughs> here we are having our picnic, our first outdoor dining. I got the lobster bisque. I'm like still full from lunch. I'm probably gonna snack a lot tonight. Mm -hmm. And we got, got a huge portion of popcorn shrimp. Popcorn shrimp. Yeah, we got back from dinner and a drive and a walk. Mm -hmm. And it was all very pleasant. It was. It's very nice to outside. So it's like, I think it's supposed to be like 75 or something like that, but it feels great with the breeze coming off the, off ocean. the ocean. And it was cold. We were gonna go to the I beach was, tomorrow. I was good. I felt great. 
But we were gonna go to the beach tomorrow and I literally bought one sweatshirt and I think I'll be wearing that sweatshirt on the beach because it's actually really chilly. But um, we are we had a long day driving. Yeah, we did. So now we decided to this is kind of our anniversary trip. We never took a picture of the dashboard when we got when we parked. Oh, we didn't. We were gonna document the miles per gallon and yeah. all that stuff. Well that's okay. So my hair's a mess from the ocean. But um the breeze. It's like windy here. So it was kind of our anniversary trip, so we wrote notes to each other, and we're gonna read those tonight, and probably just relax because it's been a long day driving, so we're gonna enjoy our room for the rest of the night. I think it's only 5.30, we had a super early dinner, so yeah. we'll probably have some snacks. And I enjoy snacks, obviously. <laughs> so we are going to do that, and then tomorrow morning, we're having breakfast. What time do we say, 8.45? And I think we can bring it to yeah. our room, which is kind of actually fun get to have breakfast in our room if we want. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. But anyway, we'll have to show you that. But we're going to close out this vlog for day one. Um, so you might be seeing a lot of Cape Cod if I can actually get this all together because I wanted to document like the whole trip. I just thought it'd be fun since it's our baby moon and anniversary mm. trip and since the baby will be coming soon. He's been doing good today. He's been kicking He's around. Good. Moving around. Oh, my belly's getting so big. Hopefully by the end of this trip too, we'll have a name. I don't know if we'll be announcing. We might announce when he's born, but. And it was crazy too, we wanted to say that during this whole Corona thing, we came from Ocean City where um, we left and came here. People are on the boardwalk in Ocean City, yeah, like not and, wearing masks or anything. No, and going in stores and touching everything and like no masks and tons of people. Yeah. And here it's like every single person, like whether they're jogging no or biking, they're wearing masks and they're all nervous. Like if you start to pass them, they put the mask on <laughs> and we're like all casual about, not casual, but like we're outside, we're just yeah. walking. We can avoid people when we're walking by them, but it's just really weird. So that's what we're going through right now. So one day when... Our kids are watching this. It'll be kind of funny, I think. That's why we like to document all our stuff, too. But hopefully you guys are enjoying following along on our journey. We're thankful for you. And I know that you probably like to see vlogs more often. So that's why we wanted to just film this trip. Maybe we'll get some footage of Reed to include in one of these. My parents will take some. I don't know. <laughs> they don't really have a camera. But maybe they'll use their iPad or phone to get some stuff. I heard Reed had a good day today. Went to the park for the first time in three months. So I'm sure he had a blast. Yeah, he loves the park. He does. So we'll Almost as much as playing hide and seek. Oh yeah, he begs Rick all the time to play hide and seek. I should record a hide and seek session sometime mm -hmm. for you guys. Thanks for watching. Give it a like. Drop a name comment of what you think we should name the baby. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!